We're back here on the Sage Creek Cottage. As you can see behind me, the footing and foundation have been poured now. You can see how smooth the wall is, and, and uh, that's from the using the vibrator and condensing the concrete. You can also see how smooth and sealed up the foundation is. Again, from our form system and using the vibrator con to condense the concrete. That'll also help um, prevent uh, water and moisture from getting into the concrete and expanding and, and deteriorating it. If you can just kind of imagine for a minute, there'll be an exterior wall standing on top of this. And when the snow comes off the eaves, it's gonna land right about here. Um, so all the water in the spring that soaks down in and freeze and thaws in the fall and spring is all going to be up against these surfaces that with proper installation are now all sealed up. Uh, now you can see that we've stripped the forms away. When I say strip the forms away, I mean remove. So the forms have been removed and exposed the concrete. Right now this is what's called green and you can see how it's very dark gray. When it's dark gray like this, because this was just poured yesterday, it's in its curing process. It'll actually get lighter and lighter and lighter over the course of the next three days. We let it sit in this stage for about three days to cure out so it gets pretty strong before we put dirt against it. And it'll be rock hard in seven days. And at that seven day point, it'll be that light gray that you see most concrete becomes. So now that we've stripped the concrete forms off the foundation and exposed the concrete, <clears throat> we'll let that cure for about three to five days. And then the excavator will come in and that'll be the next stage to backfill around the exterior of the building, backfill anywhere that we're gonna have a concrete slab. Uh, the garage, the back patio, the front porch. In this particular home, there's a storage area in the back corner that will get a concrete slab. All those will be um, prepared, ready for concrete. And, uh, and the rest of the exterior of the home will get backfilled up to six inches below the top of wall. And that will have it protected from the element. And in about a week, we'll start <laughs> Uh, the framing process. That framing process will begin building what's called a stem wall on top of these interior uh, footings in the crawl space and those stem walls will be level with the top of the uh, exterior foundation and that'll allow the floor joists to span from the top of foundation wall over the top of the stem walls and create a level uh, floor for the main floor of the home and then walls will extend up from there, trusses on top of that That'll create your roof, and uh, and and we'll video um, throughout that process to help you understand how it works.